This is a childhood memory of visiting my grandmother's farm. And at the farm, you would have always found freshly made wheat and farls, which were served at tea time with butter and fresh boiled eggs. And that would have been before my uncle would have went out to milk the cows and we would have, if we were lucky enough, been allowed to help him round them up. Wheat and farls and butter. Fresh wheat and farls cooking on the griddle tells me where I am. At my granny's farm, where the ingredients were not weighed out by gram. It was a handful of this, a handful of that, mixed with love and care. And every time it turned out fine, and we'd all sit around to share fresh boiled eggs with split wheat and farls, slathered with farmhouse butter. Hungry from all the countryside air, not a word would we even utter. For food was treated with reverence, Respect for all that the land provided for the table or to feed the stock. Sometimes we did it by hand. If a young calf didn't suckle, we would help it on its way. Such fun and happy memories. Hard work just seemed like play. Collect the eggs, check the pigs, drive the cattle to the milking parlour. If you were good, you got a tractor ride up top with our uncle the farmer. Looking back to those simpler days, no one seemed to worry. Perhaps that's a child's perspective, but there seemed no rush, no hurry. Life these days seems so full, but how much of it is clutter? Let's recreate those times, even sometimes, and eat wheat and farls and butter.